Hey everybody, it's Kim here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up Harmony so that you can create a rough layout for a storyboard scene. So as you can see, I already have a storyboard that's been imported into the scene. It's an animatic, and it's been imported as a .mov file. Harmony then separates it into separate frames and into sound. You can do this by going to your file, import, movie option, and you'll see over here it gives you the option of finding a QuickTime movie. So if you scroll through the storyboard you'll see that there is a character that comes in. We're going to ignore him for this exercise, we just want to look at the background. But what is important to look at is the camera pan. Because that means that we need to create a layout that extends past this camera frame. So that when we do the camera movement in the final, there'll be enough background for the camera to go across in the camera pan. So nothing will cut off or disappear as the camera moves across the scene. So the first thing we need to do is bring in our location reference. Because we need to know exactly what these rocks have to look like in order to stick to the style of the show. So I'm going to use the model view to bring in my reference. I'm going to go to my windows and I'm going to find model. This separate window is going to pop up. I'm going to grab the tab and I'm going to drag it into one of my existing windows or above one of my existing windows. In this case, I'm putting it above my tool properties. Now there's multiple ways that you can bring in a model, but I'm going to drag mine straight in from the library. So I'm going to open up my production folder, go into my backgrounds, and grab my location design. And then I'm going to drag and drop that straight into my model view. And there you can see I have a nice reference for my background. But this is much too small for me to work with, so I'm just going to change my layout a little bit in Harmony so that I get a nice view of my model. So now I'm set up to be able to compare what I have in my storyboard to the designs that I have in my model view. So you can see the style of the rocks here, and we have to make sure that this over here echoes the style that we see in this reference location. One of the things I've noticed is that there are crystals in the storyboard frames but not in the location design. So that's something we might just have to take a bit of creative liberty on. But we can still keep the lines and the style similar to what we see here. So now I want to set up my drawing layers in order to do my rough layout for the scene. So I'm going to go to my timeline and create two new drawing layers. And for this exercise, we will be using the bitmap layers for creating our rough drawings. Bitmap layers will allow you to access a greater variety of textures, which is great when you want to get closer to the pencil looking line. So on the first bitmap layer I'm going to create, I'm going to call this rough one, add and close. Then I'm going to add another drawing layer and call this rough two. Don't forget to make this one a bitmap as well. There's a reason why I'm creating two layers and you'll see in the next video why I'm doing that. The next thing we're going to do to prepare for the rough is we're going to go into our drawing tab we're going to make sure our light table is on. And now we have an area where we can trace the storyboard layout, but also be able to manipulate the style to fit our reference location that we see in our model view over here. So in the next video, I'm going to show you guys how we're going to go about doing the rough for this layout. See you there.